On this week's program, Jeff Johnston heads to Tucson, Arizona to meet Bruce Smith, our AquaGo contest winner, and watches as his new AquaGo is installed. Then, with the Jayco Alante being on the market for the past couple of years now, we thought it would be nice to look back at his popular Class A and see what goes into building one. Later, Ivan whips up one of our more popular dishes, apple pie salad. And Jeff shows us how he gets around the country without a GPS. These stories and more on this week's Rolling On TV. Rolling On TV is brought to you by Carefree of Colorado, celebrating 45 years of RV awning innovation. Closed and Spanish captioning where available is sponsored by Jayco. At Jayco, we've been making family dreams come true since 1968. Greetings, we're at La Mesa RV Center in beautiful Tucson, Arizona. Our mission today, we're here to meet Bruce Smith, the winner of our Truma AquaGo water heater giveaway contest. They've got the trailer in the shop and we're just about to begin, so let's wander on inside and get going. Bruce's trailer is parked in a La Mesa service bay and ready for the project. We're here with Bruce Smith. Bruce is the winner of our Truma AquaGo water heater contest. Bruce, congratulations. Thank you so much. Ought to be a great upgrade for your trailer. And how long have you been using it? Uh, about two and a half years now we've been RVing. Hmm. We've okay. had this particular um, fifth wheel for one year. Okay, so you've had a little bit of experience with the conventional heater. Uh, yes, and we now certainly we can have. Make the, now we can make the bump up. Yes, absolutely. Oh, cool. Looking well, forward uh, to it. Well, here's Billy D. He's uh, with Truma. Hey, how are you doing, guys? Hi. Right. Bruce, congratulations on winning the Truma. Thank Aquaville. you very much. I really think you're going to enjoy this product. Uh, it's the uh, water heater that's going to provide you with instant, constant, and endless hot water whenever you're on your RV. So I think we can all appreciate Wonderful. the fact that you know, you're not going to have to take any more Navy showers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so with this product, uh, I don't want you to forget to fill out the warranty registration card. Uh, with this unit, we are going to, or with this card, you're going to bump up your warranty from one year parts and labor to two years parts and labor. So a little bit added protection for you and your Okay, life. good. Well, Billy, I know that you've got quite a project going over we there. Do. So let's go ahead and get started, and right. we will be over there shortly See to you guys follow over there. along. All right. The AquaGo installation is straightforward. Removal of the old unit involves the usual cleanup of residual sealing tape and the like. A new trim ring is installed to facilitate mounting the exterior compartment door. After the heater compartment is cleaned out, the propane line is reattached. It helps to have a helper for this step. The AquaGo slides into place in the old water heater's spot. A new higher amp fuse is installed in the power line to accommodate the new AquaGo winterizing component. Well, this ought to be a significant change for you guys as far as your hot water usage. And how's it gone so far? Well, what we've experienced in the past, uh, when we bought our first motorhome a couple years ago, um, we discovered immediately that I would forget to turn it on, the, the, the one that we had, and of course then we'd get up and she'd want to take a shower, oh and boy. I would forget that I had not mm. turned on the water heater, so then we had to wait for the heat up process to occur. Um, so this yeah, going that, to the Truma that, is... That, 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 is a, that is a familiar <laughs> story for me. I, uh, and you mentioned something about uh, also doing dishes, same sort of thing? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. I, would shut, I would shut the gas off and throughout the day then she would go and then she'd want to start doing dishes later and she'd say, how come I don't have any hot water? And once again, I was going back to the panel mm -hmm. to turn it back on and then we had that downtime where we had yeah. to wait for it to heat back oh, up boy, yeah. and then she was able to do the dishes. So yeah. we're very excited over trying something new where we have the instant hot water and, and well, that's ready. In RVs, it's sort of like leaving the, uh, uh, the antenna up when you drive out of a campground. Uh, that's one that. of the things RVers do, <laughs> and uh, I certainly uh, have had experience with the, with the same forgetting the switch. A separate control panel that mounts inside the RV is new for 2017. Its signal wire plugs into the AquaGo and routes to a convenient spot inside the RV.
Operating the AquaGo via the new control panel is a fairly easy process. All right, Bruce, now that we've got your AquaGo installed, I'm gonna go, go ahead and show you how to use it. Uh, one of the new features of the version three AquaGo Comfort and Comfort Plus is the control panel. Uh, before you would have to change the AquaGo between modes by going outside, nobody wants to do that. So what we did is we made it easy for you. You can now do it from the comfort of your uh, coach uh, or your trailer. Now we've got a few different modes here. We're gonna start in the eco mode. The next mode down is comfort mode. Uh, now comfort mode is gonna do the same thing uh, except that temperature set point instead of 41 degrees Fahrenheit is 102. And there's a light that will come on also? There is a light that'll come on. Uh, if there is ever any sort of error code, it'll flash there as well. Uh, and it'll also indicate when the unit needs to be cleaned or descaled. Uh, the unit will flash or, or turn off every seven, seven seconds for one second. Oh, okay. All right. Perfect. Well, enjoy your new Akago. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <Huh? laughs> As soon as you turn on the uh, hot water line, that's going to tell the Aquago, hey, it's time to turn, come on. Uh, so within just a moment, you oh, should yeah. be feeling hot water. Yeah, it's definitely and warm already. Not enough to scald you, just enough to uh, get you where you want to be. Mm -hmm. Great. No, nope, feels great. Perfect. And you're going to yep. have that water yep. until you run out of propane. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bruce, it looks like they're just about done with your trailer. The install went well. I think everything was according to plan. Now all you need to do is hook up and head down the road. Oh, and, and we can't wait to do that either. We're going to be taking a trip uh, probably heading out tomorrow, so we're looking forward to that. And I can't thank Truma enough for this opportunity for this new AquaGo system. Uh, rolling on TV is where we saw it and able to get on to uh, enter the contest, so we're excited and can't well, wait to use it. Well, we're certainly glad it worked out. Congratulations again. Thank you very much. Stay tuned, their future installments are rolling on TV. We have some other contests in mind that we think you'll like, so we'll see you then. Coming up next, we'll check out the Alante and visit the Jayco factory. But first, a word from our sponsors. Thetford's tough new Titan sewer hose is virtually uncrushable. Ever had your sewer hose run over by an RV? Watch Titan bounce back. Titan hose is made of Thetford's proprietary blend of TPE and provides the highest degree of puncture and abrasion resistance. It has an easy to grip fitting for a leak free connection to RV outlets. A rotating elbow easily aligns and allows a convenient connection and straighter flow. Titan provides more for your money and is another innovation from Thetford, the RV sanitation leader. Your RV is still using a water heater with 100-year-old technology. Isn't it time you switched? Truma AquaGo. Instant, continuous, and endless hot water. For more information, visit truma.net. Following the success of its gas-powered Precept Class A motorhome, Jayco has introduced a second gas-powered Class A, the Alante. At first glance, the Alante looks somewhat like other Class A's, but when you get a closer look, you start seeing a lot of new forward-thinking ideas that really sets this affordable Class A apart from all the others. Besides the obvious huge windshield, which by the way is the largest in the industry, the Alante also has the narrowest day pillars for better sight lines and gives that front end a clean, sleek look. Speaking of the front, the seamless front cap has some cool LED lighting accents above and below the grille, along with some lights on the lower front pan. Other noticeable features of the new Alante include a fiberglass roof, large frameless windows, and pass-through storage compartments with slam-latch doors. The power awning also has LED lights built right in, which lends itself that extra ambiance to a nice evening outside. And if that ambiance is too quiet for your taste, you can watch a game on a flat-screen TV or listen to some music on a stereo system. The Alante also has a wide array of safety features, like the side view cameras located in the side mirrors, along with a rear view camera. And 
Another great safety item is the third brake light. And inside, all the seats have seat belts. On the inside, you can't help but notice the spaciousness and open feeling, starting with that large windshield and roomy cab area. By the way, that's a six-way powered driver's seat. Jayco currently offers four floor plans. This model had a spacious couch behind a driver's seat, leading back to a roomy dinette. Across from the couch and dinette is a kitchen area with everything you need, including a large Norco combination gas and electric refrigerator. In the bathroom, you'll find a roomy shower with a large glass door. As we said earlier, it's amazing how much Jayco has built into this really affordable Class A. And it all comes with a two-year warranty. Coming up, we'll visit the assembly line and check out a lot of the hidden features you can only see during the build process. We'll be right back. We didn't make the majestic mountains or the rugged terrain or paint the night sky, but we make it possible to see it all. Road Trek, America's number one selling touring coach for over 25 years. Built with quality so you can sit back, relax, and enjoy the destinations you want. Enjoy the peace of mind that only a Road Trek can provide. Someone once said, the camping doesn't really start until the RV awning comes out. Whoever said that really knew what they were talking about. Carefree of Colorado, celebrating 45 years of RV awning innovation. For more information, visit our website at carefreeofcolorado.com. Welcome back. It's easy to see why Jayco is the largest family-owned RV company in the country with a line of products that will fill any RVer's needs. Before the break, we got an overview of the new Elante, and now let's see what goes into building them. It all starts here in the engineering and design department where everything from the frame to the roof is painstakingly designed and perfected before the first wrench is even turned. The build process starts here with the frame. Jayco only builds on custom sized frames designed specifically for each floor plan. There's no stretching and welding the frame to fit. At this stage of construction is where you can see some of the components that go into the j Wright package like those readily identifiable blue Bilstein shocks, along with front and rear heavy-duty sway bars. Behind the five-speed torque shift automatic transmission, you will find a computer balanced drive shaft. The engine is a powerful Ford Triton V10. Many of the components are also installed here, like the automatic leveling jacks. At another section of the plant, workers are installing that huge windshield on the front cap that will be mated to the body further down the line. Once all the components, including wiring and hydraulics, are installed on the frame, the next step is to install the pre-assembled floor. Now is where things start happening quickly and give you a chance to see how efficient this assembly plant is. Once the floor is installed, the unit is moved to the next section onto the ramp. That ramp leads to the cabinet shop on the second level. Following build sheets, a worker positions all the cabinets and dividers on the ramp and moves them down to where they're within inches of the unit that they're being installed on. If you look closely, you'll see that that worker is tethered to a safety harness. Once the cabinets and other interior components are in place, it's time to move the unit to the next station where the sidewalls are put on. With the sidewalls attached, the next step is to get the roof installed and secured. With that step done, it's time to mate the main body with that sleek one-piece nose cap. 
From here, all the finishing touches get done along with the final inspection and this Alante is off to another anxiously awaiting customer. We didn't make the majestic mountains or the rugged terrain or paint the night sky, but we make it possible to see it all. Road Trek, America's number one selling touring coach for over 25 years. Built with quality so you can sit back, relax, and enjoy the destinations you want. Enjoy the peace of mind that only a Road Trek can provide. Someone once said, the camping doesn't really start until the RV awning comes out. Whoever said that really knew what they were talking about. Carefree of Colorado, celebrating 45 years of RV awning innovation. For more information, visit our website at carefreeofcolorado.com. I love apple pie. I mean, who doesn't? The only problem with having an apple pie is when I have it in the house, I eat it all. Yikes. So I got to thinking, how can I have healthy apple pie where I can eat as much as I want without feeling guilty and be one happy camper? Then it came to me, apple pie salad. How perfect is that? I love apple pie and I love salad. So it seemed like a perfect match. And you know what? It kind of is. Plus it's easy as, well, pie. <laughs> so here we go. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use one big bowl to mix everything in. It just makes cleanup that much easier. We're gonna start with a half a cup of Foyer 0% plain yogurt. And I like Foyer because it's nice and thick and a little bit tart. Just like that, right into the bottom of our bowl. I'm also gonna add one teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Just like that, perfect. Oh, this is fabulous Dijon too going to mix it around. As you can see, it's just kind of a nice creamy consistency. Little tiny squeeze of lemon juice. Just like so. And believe it or not, this makes an almost mayonnaise. It makes a fabulous pseudo mayonnaise. It's healthy and it is delicious. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of honey. Here we go. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of honey. And you know my trick, I'm gonna spray my tablespoon first. Beautiful. Nice fresh local honey. See how it just drips right out? Perfect. Mm, delicious. I'm gonna mix this up just like so. And you have a pseudo miracle whip, but better tasting and better for you. I'm gonna add just a couple twists of sea salt like that and a few shakes of cinnamon. Nice. Gonna mix everything up together. Mmm, it smells great already. Okay, perfect. Now we're ready for the rest of the apple pie salad. I've got a little platter prepared here. I've got about a cup of finely chopped celery heart. I've got a half a cup of raisins. Look at these giant raisins, they're huge. I've got half a cup of walnuts chopped, and I've got about three small-ish Rayburn apples. You can also use Fuji apples. Those are delicious, but use any apple that you really like to eat. And it's really as simple as this. Here we go. We're going to add the celery. Yeah. The raisins, the walnuts. Give it a nice little stir and in go the rest of the apples. Just like that. We're gonna mix everything up until it gets nice and saucy till all the apples and everything else is coated with the delicious sauce. 
And that looks just about right to me. Perfect. Now we're ready to put it in the bowl. It really is that easy. Beautiful, nice spoonful. Oh, it smells great. Now, what apple pie would be complete without a crust? Since we don't have a crust to go in the bowl, I have a perfect solution for us. Graham crackers. So what I'm gonna do is I've got some little mini graham crackers here. I'm gonna put them on the side. Perfect. We're gonna give it just a little sprinkle, just a slight dusting of cinnamon. Well, there you have it, our easy peasy apple pie salad. You saw how simple it was, and believe me, it is delicious. We've got our apples, walnuts, raisins, our healthy Faye 0% yogurt. I mean, really, what's not to love? Hey, I'm Yvan. Thank you so much for being here. I can't wait to see you next time. I'm gonna dig into this apple pie salad, so cheers. Thanks to today's modern electronics, it's easier than ever for RVers to get around and find the resources they need. Between smartphones, iPads, dash top GPS units, you can find your way around, you can locate what you need to locate easily and quickly. However, there is a certain group of us, myself included, who kind of prefer getting my information the old fashioned way, from a piece of paper, or more specifically, from a printed resource like a map, for example, the kind of map you hold in your hands and you look at. It's a type of map that we use that we always have with us in our RV. We swear by them. We've been using them for years. That's the DeLorme Atlas and Gazetteer series. DeLorme prints one book for each state. This Oregon book has approximately 88 pages. And these books are a combination of an excellent road map and a topographic map. So not only can you find your way around, you can also locate the interesting geographic features that might pertain to what you're out there doing. Now, these maps are printed in a scale that makes it really easy to use. It's big enough that you can see everything, but small enough that you get a good picture for the area. It shows the major roads, secondary roads, jeep trails, and it has map identification marks for campgrounds, boat ramps, health facilities like hospitals and so on, everything that you could possibly find of interest or useful to an RVer. The DeLorme books also include lists of fishing sites, hunting areas, outdoor adventure areas, recreation areas, and interesting geographic locations. We take these with us all the time. As they say, we don't leave home without them, and we swear by them. Now another excellent resource that we always take with us, a printed source I might add, is the Good Sam RV Travel Guide and Campground Directory. This big boy has about 2,000 pages approximately. It's broken down by state and it lists just about every campground you can imagine in the country. Everything from smaller private campgrounds like this one, the Deerwood RV Resort in Eugene, Oregon, all the way up to state parks and national parks. The campground listings include everything you need to know about the individual campground, such as the size of the roads going in and out, the number of sites, uh, whether the facilities have full hookups or not, as, as well as additional amenities, such as a uh, laundry room, uh, swimming dock, fishing lake, um, so forth. Proximity to tourist attractions, like Disneyland or something like that. It's a little bit heavy. The thing seems to get bigger every year. But it also includes a lot of other useful information like road rules about uh, towing, uh, braking requirements, etc. All those things are useful information and they're right here. You don't have to turn anything on to get to it. You just look at it and there it is. The DeLorme Atlas and Gazetteer series and the Good Sam RV Travel Guide. We'll never leave home without them. For more information about these, log on to our website at rollingontv.com. We hope you enjoyed this week's program. And for additional information on anything you saw on the show, along with additional video, stories, and more, visit our website at rollingontv.com. You can also visit us on Twitter, Facebook, and Pinterest. As usual, this has been another fun production. For the latest up-to-the-minute RV news, visit our media partners at rvbusiness.com.